let's begin with ACCA financial management September 2022 batch orientation and this is your instructor Rizwan Mania I hope you all are in the best of health and I welcome you to WIFI for this orientation of financial management friends first of all I want to formally introduce myself my teaching experience is more than 14 years I teach paper performance management financial management and advanced performance management I have taught more than 6,000 students both locally internationally combined I am fortunate to conduct uh, I'm fortunate that I've conducted lots of webinars for ACCA so around six performance management webinars sorry eight and six advanced performance management webinars I've conducted for ACCA Pakistan and I'm fortunate to say that uh, plus 20 plus students uh, who took classes from me secured nationwide and global positions in these papers so this is my teaching history this is my teaching background and I am into ACC teaching since 14 years as I mentioned which means I have lot of experience uh, in dealing with so many students because we deal with international students through the webinars through the classes and obviously when you teach so many students you get to know so many issues the problems that students are facing and then obviously we come up with the plans so I hope this is clear now this is my whatsapp number those who are new those who uh, don't know me uh, those who are not enrolled into the batches because there might be few students who are not yet enrolled okay so this is my whatsapp number you can contact me you can save my number you can ask me anything when you want to uh, so we can remain connected uh, through this number okay now uh, as you can see here now we are at a slide where I will be discussing financial management we are at a slide where I will be actually giving you the idea about the scope of this paper because I'm sure you there is a very strong chance that uh, almost all of you have attempted any one paper uh, of skill okay you have attempted any one paper of skill this means you you have given either performance management uh, you have given uh, either taxation paper or you have given uh, maybe uh, the the uh, FR exam or double A obviously not uh, F9 so you have attempted in the exam so you are familiar with this exam structure you you know what is examination section a you know what is examination section b you know what is examination section c so that is what you are completely familiar with so i will not be going into that detail in fact i want you to understand the paper here what is financial management okay before i go into the details of that a uh, quick overview your paper is very much similar to performance management exam if you have given that before or the uh, financial reporting exam there are three sections in your uh, paper with section a including 15 objective test questions you know OTs there are seven types of OTs that are tested in your paper so uh, I, I'll just name them the first is uh, MCQ multiple response uh, you know what MCQ is you know what multiple responses more than one correct answers will be multiple response fill in the blank a calculative OT uh, I just want to focus here on one thing and that's 
the rounding off policies. In fill in the blank questions, people generally struggle when it comes to rounding off. You have to round off to two decimal places, three decimal places or the nearest thousands or millions. This is where students are massively struggling. So in fill in the blanks, make sure you are good. If you are, if you struggle with uh, these decimal policies and everything, make sure you start understanding that from today. Though my videos will you give you a lot more clarity, but still you should start working on that. Then you have a drop down, a very similar type of a question compared to MCQ. There is a drop down button. You click it. There are four options. Then you have drag and drop, uh, sort of match the following. Uh, you drag one option and place that the other area. Then you have a hotspot question, which is not very much tested in FM. Uh, maybe a graph will be given to you. You have to figure out the right spot where the answer is. And then hot area uh, includes true and false questions. So these are seven types of OTs. So 15 OTs will come in section A. The total marks weightage will be of 30 marks. Section B, you know, is a scenario based uh, question. Each section B has a weightage of 10 marks. And uh, there will be a scenario. Each scenario will include five OTs, each worth two marks, which means 10 marks for each section B question. Like this, you have three case studies and this makes 30 marks altogether. So if I say section A and if I say section B together, <coughs> make 60 marks, make 60 marks. Section A and section B together makes up 60 marks. Okay. So that's clear. Uh, then you have section C. Section C is a constructive response area where you have to construct your answer. This comprises of 40 marks. So each CRQ has a weightage of 20 marks. So 20 into 2 makes 40. So basically, this is the paper structure. As I said earlier, many of you have already given any of the skill paper so you know the paper pattern. This is a three hour exam with 180 minutes available to complete the 100 marks. So 180 divided by 100 makes 1.8 minutes you have per mark. Time management plays a very massive role in your examination success. Throughout these 14 years, I have seen a lot that people are massively, massively struggling in time management. So yes, Time management is one area which people really need to put effort from day one. You have to make sure that you improve your time management skills and this will only be done by practice. The more and more practice you will do, the better and better you will become. So remember day one, I'm saying practice is very important to ensure time management. Okay. Now, now I'm coming towards to the, now I'm coming towards the core area of the paper. What financial management paper is? What is FM? And how it is different to PM or FR? PM, performance management, F5 was a paper which basically focused on internal performance of the organization paper that focused on improving the internal performance of the organization performance management which included budgeting decision making and the focus was internal improvement of the organization that's clear financial reporting what is fr so what is FR? If I ask you people, what is FR? So you will very quickly say that it is reporting done to the shareholders in relation to financial numbers. Because shareholders are the owners, 
because they have invested funds into the organization. So shareholders requires what? Shareholder requires the results, the accountability of their, of the, of their investment. So FR is the paper that reports them what you have done, what are the financial numbers, right? So that's reporting to the shareholders. Then comes financial management. A paper that builds your skills, that helps you to become a finance manager. Yes. You correctly heard finance manager. So do you want to become finance managers? Let's have a quick voting here. How many? Please just reply in the chat box. Finance managers. So Maria Elias, Ramla, Sana. So many students, Catherine, Jones, they all want to become finance managers. Perfect. If you want to become finance managers, so this is the paper for you. And usually an accountant works in finance section in an organization. Okay. So this is a core job that ACCA students have. So this is the paper that develops your skills. Now, listen to me very carefully. I will exactly give you the idea about the entire FM paper and today only. I'll ask a few questions here. Uh, I know the age group is different in online. It's, it's different to what Pakistan students, Pakistani students are. But a quick question. Any of you uh, have their parents that are ACCA qualified? No, before that. Who manages the funds at your home? It's your father or mother, generally. It may be you yourself as well, okay? Because I don't know the age group here. Okay, let's, 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 let's quickly take an example that, for example, your father or your mother manages, or you yourself, but I, I don't want uh, to use your example here manages your funds. Now, if your father manages the funds or your mother manages the funds, are they ACC qualified? Are they ACC qualified? Anybody has their parents ACC qualified? <coughs> Nobody? Normally in Pakistan, uh, the normal household activities are controlled by the mothers, right? And they manage the normal household activities. So nobody has ACCA qualified parents. <laughs> now, if let's assume your mother manages the monthly expenses <laughs> and she's not ACCA qualified, which means they, she is managing the monthly cash. Assuming your father comes to your mother and says, Hey, take this hundred dollars. I, I know it's, it's less. Let's make it thousand dollars too much. I don't know take thousand dollars okay and uh, mother says okay fine uh, yeah she will disagree I need more anyways let's settle for thousand dollars now what she does from first day of the month till 30th of the month she is managing the cash buying the groceries daily stuff managing the cash flow looking at the thousand dollars Gradually, they are coming down, 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 down. And she tries to be within the limit of $1,000. She, she tries that she is not exceeding $1,000. She tries to manage the cash flows. But she is not an ACCA, right? Is she? No. Which means she is not an ACCA managing the cash. She has some inbuilt ability to manage the finance? Yes. Do you have such an ability? Yes. How? You get pocket money or you earn 
you 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 do jobs you earn amount you manage that amount throughout the month yes this means you have that that ability everybody whether it's educated person or an uneducated person everybody has this inbuilt skill of managing what cash flows understood my friends everybody has that skill of managing cash flows which means is this financial management yes wow so easy so we are done with the paper now let's move on i'm quitting the class <laughs> okay my point is <coughs> this is financial management this is a skill that you have everybody has even a, a 10 year 12 year kid who gets the pocket money will manage their cash flow throughout the month so this skill everybody has but now you will be polishing yourself in relation to the same skill at the organization level this is the work that a finance manager does which any parents or a mother or a father and any, any individual is doing at their own level and this is what you will be doing at the company's level managing the finance of an organization so first of all i have made this very clear that this skill is something everybody possesses and through this paper will polish your skill and will make you ready to manage the finance now not in relation to your home or yourself but for the entire organization <laughs> understood guys quickly say yes or no is the example clear it should be okay <laughs> and it's interesting as well now the topics that are part of this skill set <laughs> includes investment appraisal business finance including vac it, this is vac business valuation working capital and risk management i'll first start with investment appraisal a very important topic when it comes to paper structure in your paper it is expected that at least 20 marks will be relating to investment appraisal at least which means it could be more than that it has a very high weightage in your examination very crucial for your exam success now i'll explain what the topic is about <laughs> investment appraisal basically will teach you the skills in relation to taking decisions about different investment options i hope you are listening me this section will develop your skills in relation to investment options what i said investment options for example you have five different investment opportunities available number 1 either you invest in stock market or you invest in a school or you invest in some manufacturing company okay or you uh invest in in some uh in in the manufacturing sector there are further three opportunities you have Either you invest in a cement company or a pharmaceutical company or a clothing company. So there are five different investment opportunities available. Now, being a finance manager of a company, it is very crucial for you to decide which investment option will work for you. Which is the best option? What do you think? Where you will ensure justice when it comes to your funds? so investment appraisal will develop your skills in taking decision about the selection of different investment options through this you will take decisions 
which investment is more good and worth it for the organization how by using four different techniques you already have an idea about those techniques i'll just name it but i'll first give you chance to name it can you tell me the names of different techniques of taking investment decisions you can write in the chat box so ramla says npv katherine also says npv but mariam says irr sana also says irr still i'm waiting ramla says rose J jones says arr and here the list is complete yes four techniques npv irr uh arr or rose and payback yeah i think some yeah galaxy a51 galaxy a51 it's payback so there are four techniques exactly now these are the four techniques that will help you in taking investment decision in relation to the five options and through these you can select the best option there is a possibility that each technique results may vary but how will you decide which is the most accurate one so remember it's npv and i normally say daddy of all yeah what i say daddy of all so npv is a technique which gives you the best decision because npv is very close to the heart of shareholders So these are four technique you will learn about these techniques yes i know in management accounting paper you have gone through a bit of npvs and paybacks and irrs i know that but here there will be a very detailed discussion a very detailed calculation uh will be done in 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 this area so i just wanted to give you a brief idea that what investment appraisal will do what skill this section will develop so the skill that will be developed will be about taking investment decisions which project is a good one which is not a good project which project to opt for so if i ask you because i want to ensure that you learn at least these things if i ask you what skill investment appraisal will develop so what will be your answer in the chat box i'm not getting the answers to make right investment decisions yes to make right investment decisions done now now you know the methods through which you can take right investment decisions okay but there is a problem what is the problem you don't have funds what you don't have funds oh or you are having shortage of funds or you have limited funds now the question that comes to your mind is being a finance manager that from where to raise the funds can you help me here what are the two major sources through which you can raise the funds my friends yeah so we have marwa saying loans ramla saying shareholders john saying debt salma saying equity or debt yes all the answers are correct which means there are two broad sources through which you can raise the funds one equity second debt so two sources you have equity debt raising funds through shareholders raising funds through banks in in a very simple words now listen the interesting part if you raise funds through equity will that fund that you will receive will be free for you or there is a cost attached to that fund now let's see who gives me the answer here 
Is there any cost attached with the funds? Yes. The cost that you need to bear when you raise funds from the equity investor is the cost in form of returns required by the shareholders. Now, shareholder requires a return in form of, listen, dividends. Just note it down in form of dividends. If you are giving return to shareholders, so you give them return in form of dividends or or it's the capital gain. So if we say giving returns to the shareholders, so those are in form of dividends or capital gain. Understood? Perfect. So this means raising equity is not free. There is a cost attached with the equity and that is the return that you need to provide to the equity investor and that return is in form of either dividend or capital gains. So it's not free. That's clear. There is a cost attached to it. A company that raises the funds needs to bear this cost. For example, shareholder says that I'll charge, I want a return of 15%, one five. I need a return of 15%, which means you need to give them the return of 15%. Now, the other option you have is to raise funds through banks, through banks in the simple words right now. So, do you think raising funds with bank is free? So, let's see what do you think and if you think no, then tell me what is the cost. <coughs> right. So, I've received the right answers and that's interest. It's not at all free. When shareholders are not giving you funds for free, why would a bank give you funds for free? There is a cost in form of interest. You need to bear the cost of interest. Yes. So this means if you took loan from the bank, bank will charge you interest. And for example, the bank says that I'll charge 10% interest. So the equity investor was taking 15% return, whereas bank is charging 10% interest. You took $100 from equity, you took $100 from bank. You raised $100 in form of equity, you raised $100 in form of debt. One requires 15% return and one requires 10% return. As a company, as a company, if you are raising $200 and obviously you are raising these $200 uh, for the purpose of making investments. Okay. So if you're investing those $200 somewhere in the business, it is important to ensure that whatever investment you made through those $200, that investment should, listen what I'm saying, that investment should at least cover the return that you need to give to the equity investor 15% and the return or the interest that you need to pay to the bank that is 10%. If that investment is not good enough to cover that 15 and 10%, that's not a worth it investment to do. What do you think guys? Yes or no? Yes. So the topic that I'm talking about here is known as weighted W, weighted A, average C, cost of other C, capital, weighted average cost of capital. So it is important for that investment to ensure that it covers at least what? Weighted average cost of capital. <laughs> this is known as cost of capital. Normally you have heard this word cost of capital. So weighted average cost of capital basically represents one figure and this figure includes the cost of equity investor and the cost of the bank. So you just club these two together so that 
you get just one figure to focus on and this is the average figure so whatever investment you make from those funds that investment must ensure that you cover this average cost which includes the return of the equity investor and the cost of interest of the bank whack every cost of capital so this section will will deal with first this section will deal with different sources of finance available different sources of finance available you will learn about different options of raising equity finance maybe through new equity issue maybe through placing maybe public offer right issues you will cover these in a very detailed way with their positive and negatives very important for the theory questions you will learn about the different debt options like bonds which includes debentures deep discounts zero coupon convertible bonds loan note with warrants and other debt option includes bank loans overdraft leasing so these are different debt options so you will learn about these debt options along with their positive and negatives and after that you will learn how to calculate the average cost of capital considering equity and debt so this section is actually broken down into two parts on my portal we will learn about the different sources of finance separately and we'll learn how to calculate the cost of these finances separately sir did you said the word cost yes because for a company who is taking the finances needs to bear this cost because these finances are not free so for a company from the company's perspective you are calculating the cost of capital so this is a very crucial section for your paper where you will learn how to calculate vac with the cost of capital from calculation point of view it may come in the paper it is an easy area if you learn this calculation well and the theoretical area which includes in this is the different uh, finance options including their positive and negatives <laughs> okay so when i will summarize this so i'll say business finance teaches you and gives you the idea of different investment options sorry sorry it gives you the idea and develops the skills in relation to raising different uh, finances from different options so it is all about learning different options for raising finance so come on if i ask you what business finance will teach you so what will be your answer different sources of raising finance and their related cost exactly perfect sana said here that's great i hope you understanding investment appraisal teaches you the skills how to take investment decision uh, but obviously uh, for that you did investment so business finance teaches you how to raise the finance and what will be their associated cost perfect what do you think uh do you think i am getting successful in making this easier for you right now giving you the idea of financial management paper guys yes or no yes people think that i am trying to make it easier and i am getting successful thank you let's move on <laughs> business valuation very key area not only from the paper's perspective but also from the perspective of practical life from the perspective of practical life business valuation is very important uh, sorry business valuation is very important just because in life you might want to make investments into different companies anybody who is interested in investing into different stocks or buying shares of different companies definitely is concerned in which company should i make the investment or should i buy the shares which company i think i should sell the shares 
Yes or no? Are you concerned about that? Yes, you are. So, in that case, this is a section for you. Now, business valuation in a very simple way is useful for, for the decision of investment, which company you think has a good value. So, you make the investment, which means it is focusing on valuation of the company. It is focusing on valuation of the company. When I say valuation of the company, so this section will develop your skills in valuing the company through different methods. So you will learn different methods of valuing a company. Now, why is that important other than making investment decisions? It is also important in case of acquisition and mergers. <laughs> Have you ever heard company A acquired company B? Guys, yes or no? If yes, can you give me examples of popular acquisitions or mergers? If you know, you just name them in the chat box. <laughs> Any popular acquisition or mergers? Yeah, we have a Pakistani example here from Amar <laughs> Khan, Jez and Warid. Yeah, we have another example of Middle East, Uber and Kareem. <laughs> yes, we have another example from Catherine. KCB Bank and Chester Bank. Right. So, let's take an example of Uber and Kareem, the Middle East acquisition. Yeah, we have a very good example from Ikhlaq Ahmed, Facebook and WhatsApp. Very good. Very good. So, now, listen. If Facebook, now who acquired whom? Did Facebook acquire WhatsApp or Fe Fe WhatsApp acquired Facebook? Ikhlaq, can you further explain? Facebook acquired WhatsApp, right? Now, let me give you a very good, uh, let's, let's start a debate here. I'm the Facebook company, okay? I'm Mark, okay? I'm Mark Zuckerberg, okay? And you are the WhatsApp owner. I don't know the name, uh, the, the, the previous name of that owner. You are WhatsApp and Facebook. Now, I want to acquire you. So, I came up with a value. How? Using different valuation methods that I know. Can you name them? Let me name. <clears throat> I can calculate the value using discounted cash flow or dividend valuation model or asset based valuation or price earning ratio method valuation method or earning yield method of valuation or dividend yield method of valuation. These are different valuation methods. So, I will come up with a value that this is the value of WhatsApp using different methods and I will give you one offer. Hello, I want to buy you for X dollars. You are WhatsApp. <clears throat> so, you said, hello, I'm not that stupid, okay? I also know, I'm also ACC qualified and I also took classes from Wifi, right? And my tutor is Uzman Mania. So, I also know how to do the valuations. So, WhatsApp also started doing calculations using different methods. So, you came up with a value for your own business, the worth of your own business. <clears throat> so that you can gauge what is your own worth and how much price I am offering you to buy your company. Which means, which means that you came up with a value for your own business. I came up with the value that I want to uh, quote you for your business. And then we had a table chat. And we started negotiating with each other, which means this is what Facebook did to WhatsApp. They had a deal. They 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 uh, had a deal. They sat uh, on different. Uh, uh, they 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 sat together. They had a negotiation. Facebook came up with the value. WhatsApp said, "No, my value is more." Facebook said, "Okay, I'll increase the amount." 
and these are the valuation techniques that were used to value the business of whatsapp and then the equation deal was there so this is what i'm explaining you here that this topic will teach you different valuation methods which are useful for investment decision in case of acquisition and mergers and not only that in case of liquidation if you want to liquidate your business okay in case of litigation cases so very useful one so i hope you are you are understanding what f9 financial management is about is it interesting friends so far is it interesting so far yes it should be because this is what acc student is about right done so when i say business valuation what should come to your mind valuing a business so the skill that you will learn will be in relation to valuing a business perfect move on working capital wow a favorite area uh this is a question to all of you there is certain amount of food that you need to have each day even if you are on a very strict diet people who are doing dieting anyone who is doing dieting here people who are doing strict dieting even they need a minimum amount of food each day is it true yes everybody is saying yes obviously we need food we need minimum amount of food intake you need it right why to perform day to day activities to perform daily task okay yes yes this means to ensure that you perform your daily task your daily activities you need minimum amount of energy to perform the task and that is something that ensures that your blood is circulating in the body this is that this minimum amount of food for me is working capital of your body if you don't intake this food you will not work you cannot stand up you cannot perform your daily activities so this is working capital in your body wow easy understood perfect It's in a similar way the business requires this daily food in form of cash why now one fine morning you went to the office and the ac was not working you don't have cash to repair the ac the generator is not working you don't have cash to repair the generator you went to the office and there was no electricity you inquired you got to know that you haven't paid the bill you don't have amount to pay the bill and one fine morning your employees were protesting out protesting outside the office and you said what happened they said salary and you said no i don't have cash wow <laughs> now you don't have cash to pay salaries you don't have cash to pay utility bills you don't have cash to uh, uh, ensure that you repair the things then somebody asked why so you replied because i sold goods on credit i sold goods on credit or 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 i gave admission on credit you people are taking the classes and not paying the fees if you will not pay the fees how i can clear my monthly bills how can i spare uh, uh, how can i ensure monthly or daily repairs i don't have cash which means if i don't have this amount of cash in my pocket my operations will not work in a smoother way and things will disrupt 
and when things will disrupt business will not work so understood like the body requires minimum amount of food so business requires minimum amount of cash to ensure day to day transactions are being carried out to pay utility bills salaries and all even customers are not paying you on time you need to have some cash in your pocket wifi has some cash in their pocket to clear out these daily bills because if you are not paying us on time how would we be able to cover up the things Hello Wifians, are you tired of traditional learning methodology and want to transform your learning into a game? If yes, then the wait is over. Wifi has launched its gamification learning model in which there are seven levels to score 100 points. Level 1, recorded sessions. Level 2, live classes. Level 3, assignments. Level 4, test yourself. Level 5, testing platform. Level 6, mock. Level 7, quick WhatsApp response. In which you need to score at least 80 marks. But the game will not get over. You still need to pass your ACC exam. So if you score 100 points and you pass, you will get $1.30 discount. If you score 90 points and you pass, you will get $1.20 discount. And if you score 80 points and you pass, you will get $1.10 discount on any other paper at Wifi. So what are you waiting for? Let the game begin. So this is working capital represents the amount of cash required to settle day to day uh, issues day to day for day to day transactions and the formula of working capital can anyone tell me the formula of working capital let me see. Current asset less current liabilities, Catherine says that, yeah. So this means current asset is something which you realize within a year, yes. Current liability is something that you settle within a year, yes. So this is a product of current asset less current liability. So this is also working capital which is something which is of short term and this is something you need to ensure daily operations are smoothly uh, working on. So when I say working capital management, so you will be able to learn the skills of managing working capital. You will learn the skills of managing working capital on a daily basis. And this skill is important for the survival of the business. True? Clear? So what skill will you learn here? Management of working capital. What skill will you learn here? valuing the business what skill will you learn here finding different options for raising finance and their cost what skill will you develop here taking investment decision understood comes the last one risk management this includes two risk <clears throat> currency risk currency risk interest rate risk Currency risk, interest rate risk. <coughs> Quickly, I'll tell you <coughs> what is a currency risk. <coughs> you know what exchange losses 
yes we know when the exchange when the when the currency is moving adversely and results in exchange loss this happens when you deal with foreign currencies right <clears throat> living in pakistan if i deal with usa dollars if i deal with pound sterling so this gives rise to currency risk <clears throat> so currency risk is the risk that a business or an individual is facing because of adverse movement in currency <clears throat> for example <clears throat> you want to make payment for one acc exam today you don't have cash whatever your local currency is today you don't have cash you will be able to arrange cash after 7 days now what risk are you facing you are facing a risk that by the time you will arrange the cash if exchange rate moves adversely for you so your payment of the exam fee will increase the extra payment that you will make is the exchange loss for you i'm sure people who are from pakistan i don't know i don't know about bangladesh but there are certain countries where exchange rate is moving adversely so their acc payment is becoming expensive and expensive and expensive yes one of the biggest crisis came to sri lanka recently the way their exchange rate is adversely moving things are getting very expensive for the people there so that's the exchange risk so in f9 financial management you will learn how to protect yourself against this exchange risk fluctuations so we we'll, you will learn what the risk are of exchange movement as i just give you a very simple example you have to make a payment within a week's time you are facing a risk that your payment of exam fee will increase due to exchange rate adverse movement that is exchange risk so here you will learn how to avoid how to reduce or hedge hedge this risk not only currency is what you will be hedging here interest rate as well a company that wants to borrow maybe in one month or two months time is facing a risk of rising interest rates yes or no yes is facing the risk of rising interest rates you want to borrow in two months time and you might be thinking oh today the rate is 7% by the time i will borrow it will be 9% there will be 2% increase in interest rate which means your finance cost will increase so this section will teach you how to protect yourself so people know what this risk is in worldwide different countries are facing this risk like salma says in kenya they are facing this risk vincent says in malawi they are facing this risk yes so my friends we need to learn how to protect ourselves and this risk management is a section that will teach you how to hedge yourself against currency risk and exchange rate adverse movement risk there's one more section that is not written here that is financial management function that is totally theory based area that is important in terms of ot's as well that is what also will be covering in uh, our our uh, lectures so don't worry about that as well now you can see a quick summary come on you have to write in the chat box very quickly what skill you will learn okay come on 1 2 3 let's start 
investment appraisal decision making skill in relation to investment options business finance from where to raise different finances options of different raising finance and their associated cost business valuation valuing a business working capital managing the day to day working capital risk management protecting yourself against exchange and interest rate risk see so easy fm is and i hope by the way i hope the way i've explained you here things are getting simple and easy for you yes or no is it guys yes easier picture of fm anybody wants to understand what fm is watch this video and you are clear any of your friends who want to understand fm recommend this video and they will get to know what fm is so i hope this is clear with very good explanations and examples now you can see uh just two quick observations business valuation and risk management will not be tested in section c these are the two exceptions will not be tested in section c will only be tested in section a and b so for constructive response we will not we will not be focusing on valuation and risk management other than that everything can come either in section a section b or section c i hope fm is clear to you now the question is how do we teach at wifi how we will teach at wifi <laughs> listen wifi has a unique learning methodology when i say unique i mean it i am running this institute since last 3 years we have become acc approved learning provider the faculty that we have ensures quality the method that we use ensures quality and let me tell you why because we have unique recorded session which are not available right now on any other portal these are learning glass technology based lectures with animations we want to show you the concept through animations <laughs> when we give example we want to show you the example through animations best content easy for understanding purpose live classes are different to recorded sessions every week i will conduct a live class <laughs> interactive live class everybody must participate we will be having questions and answers your webcam should be open you should be using a headphone i'll talk to you people <laughs> i will not allow people without webcams because i want to make it interactive e notes topic wise notes are available on your portal which you can download and study <laughs> exam based testing application <laughs> because section a and b is are tested a lot 60% of the paper comprises of section a and b we have a dedicated app for you people <laughs> you can practice hundreds of questions then comes the unique tta model t t a model what is that the first t is test yourself test yourself what do you mean by that listen my friends watching recorded content is not enough because your examination will not be about whether you have watched the videos or not your examination is what you will solve things until and unless you test yourself how will you be able to check your progress so in our portal when you move on to the topics you will see in between a section by the name of test yourself where minutes are given to you and these are the question that you have to solve on your own within the given time frame and then watch the video for the answers but the main objective is to bound you in that time period so that you practice within the time frame you have to do this so this is first t test yourself 
नेक्स्ट थी टेस्टिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ओटीज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन टेस्टिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ओटीज टेस्टिंग प्लेटफॉर्म वॉट इज ए असाइनमेंट वी एट विफी विल गिव यू सिक्स असाइनमेंट आफ्टर एवरी लाइफ क्लास सर विल यू चेक द असाइनमेंट यस वी विल चेक द असाइनमेंट विल गिव यू फीडबैक विल गिव यू मार्क्स दीज आर लाइक क्लास टेस्ट फॉर यू पीपल we give you sufficient time for the assignment you solve it submit us we'll check and we'll give you the feedback okay so this tta model is a model that will allow you to test your performance then mock exam at the end there are two mocks that we offer one is the live mock after that we'll check it give you the feedback and followed by a debrief live debrief session that i'll conduct i'll discuss the mock not only this there is another mock after that mock 2 which will be given to you with a recorded debrief session for that and then grand revision at the end of the session where i will revise the entire fm and till the last day of your exam it's my promise that i will be with you till the last day of your exam through whatsapp also will be we will be revising things so this is the revision <laughs> through whatsapp and live revision i'll conduct at the end now the interesting thing is <laughs> gamification model what is gamification model we at wifi want to make things unique so we want to transform your learning into a game so that you consider learning with wifi as playing a game and when playing a game you as you pass the stages there you will pass the paper so let's request our admin here to show us what exactly is the gamification model and then i will come back here and will explain you what is hello wifians are you tired of traditional learning methodology and want to transform your learning into a game if yes then the wait is over if he has launched its gamification learning model in which there are seven levels to score 100 points level 1 recorded sessions level 2 live classes level 3 assignments level 4 test yourself level 5 testing platform level 6 mock level 7 quick whatsapp response in which you need to score at least 80 marks but the game will not get over you still need to pass your acc exam so if you score 100 points and you pass you will get dollar 30 discount if you score 90 points and you pass you will get dollar 20 discount and if you score 80 points and you pass you will get dollar 10 discount on any other paper at wifi so what are you waiting for let the game begin So guys <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you like the model say what's your feedback yes please Oh there was no sound Okay <clears throat> uh admin there was no sound in the video can you just please uh play it again with the sound
Hello, Ifians. Are you tired of traditional learning methodology and want to transform your learning into a game? If yes, then the wait is over. Wifi has launched its gamification learning model, in which there are seven levels to score 100 points. Level 1 Recorded Sessions Level 2 Live Classes Level 3 Assignments Level 4 Test Yourself Level 5 Testing Platform Level 6 Mock Level 7 Quick WhatsApp Response In which you need to score at least 80 marks But the game will not get over You still need to pass your ACC exam So if you score 100 points and you pass, you will get $1.30 discount. If you score 90 points and you pass, you will get $1.20 discount. And if you score 80 points and you pass, you will get $1.10 discount on any other paper at Wifi. So what are you waiting for? Let the game begin. <coughs> so now, Guys, impressive, yes or no? <laughs> Excited to earn dollars. Let me see how many replied me back. Yes, that's the excitement I wanted, okay? Great, so that's the uniqueness I was talking about. <laughs> now, you, if, you, if you are able to cover recorded sessions on time, you take live classes on a regular basis, you are able to solve the testing platform questions. You do submit assignments on time. You appear in the mock. You pass the mock. You pass the exam. And then earn dollars. So now it's up to you. Let's see how many of you will successfully take dollars from Wifi, guys. So best of luck. So I hope the method is clear. The only reason behind all these things to ensure that you pass. The biggest benefit is that you will pass. Okay. Now, after this, let's move towards the last slide and which is a very important one where I will be discussing the plan. Listen. We give dedicated planners to the students available on the portal and in the WhatsApp group. This is a summary of the plan. For example, investment appraisal is what you must finish till 20, 30th of June. Then VAC you must finish till 7th. Valuation you must finish till 14th. Business finance other area till 21st of July. And working capital till 28th and risk management till uh, fourth and the last section till fifth which means till fifth or sixth August you must complete the syllabus because we have given you a detailed planner available on your portal that planner is what you have to follow if you will spare 3.2.5 to 3 hours or 2 to 3 hours in a day you will be able to manage the planner accordingly if you are able to finish the things till 5th of August, after that, one month will be revision. I'll share another plan after that, that will be the revision plan for the last month. Complete guidance will be given to you. Okay. Secondly, there will be live classes. We will be having live classes on a weekly basis. I haven't yet decided the live classes timing this time because I want maximum student participation. So in the WhatsApp group, I will run a survey today and will ask for your opinions, the days that are convenient for you, the timing that is convenient for you, because I need people to be part of the live sessions. So according to the majority students will decide the live classes timings. And once I will ask in the group, then you have to reply. You have to remain very, very, very active in our class WhatsApp group. And then we will share the mock and things as well. So I hope you have to, fo this is things are clear. And I'm telling you, if you follow our plans, you'll be able to cover the syllabus in, in less than two months and be ready for ACCA exams.
okay guys i hope this is all clear before i move towards the question and answer session last thing is the teacher assistant we have dedicated support team with us i have two teacher assistant with me assisting me and you people <laughs> the purpose of teacher assistant is that they will be tracking your performance we don't leave student on their own we track your performance on a weekly basis we will share your progress the topics you have covered the assignments that you gave the marks for that and the attendance of the live classes there is a team working for you people so i would i will like now to introduce the team uh, who is also part of the session and they will introduce themselves there are two people who will be assisting you people one is salman second is varda uh first i will want salman to be uh, uh to speak here and introduce himself over to salman okay thank you salman for your introduction salman will be tracking your performance salman will be sharing the assignments will be showing the results of the assignment and will be helping you in the query uh, varda is not here in the session she will be assisting salman with the queries uh, so both these two will be handling queries along with that salman will be handling all other matters in relation to the students we have a student coordinator part of the group coordinator work is to uh, help you in terms of your testing platform access and coordinator will be updating us in relation to the live classes and the uh, uh, recordings availability on all that so guys do follow the group which is the most important thing uh, and now we'll have a quick question and answer uh, if you have Salman you please do send your picture in the whatsapp group people wants to see you okay okay any questions guys classes have already started marwa today is the orientation uh, if you are not yet enrolled you can enroll yourself and uh, just follow the plans how is it possible to combine pm and fm i don't know how to combine it because these are two separate subjects obviously wifi has its own application what do you expect we are a platform running since last 3 years uh yes uh before any respective live class you must finish the topics that are assigned to you before the live class so i expect people have finished that respective area before the live class because that live class will be one that is related to the recorded topics completed in the earlier weeks the recording of this live class will be available on wifi's youtube channel along with the students portal as well sana uh, i am not sure which whatsapp group you uh, mean here if you are an enrolled student you will be part of the class whatsapp group salman will be available in the group he is part of the group salman will introduce himself formally so you can save his number okay now guys uh, the book that you need to follow is kaplan study text will be kaplan whereas revision kit it will be uh both you can follow both revision kits bbp and kaplan uh, but the textbook will be of kaplan okay now i'm sharing the 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 student support team number if you want enroll yourself if you are not part of the paid batch so this is the number of our team plus 92 324 922 9 22 1 22 1 this is the whatsapp number 
uh, of our student support team you can contact them for payment details uh, if you are not yet enrolled they will uh, give you the details for the enrollment quickly be fast in enrolling yourself so that you are not left behind and you follow the planners uh, the books and the kits are available on the portal so you can use that thank you ramla for your feedback we will definitely i will definitely look into this matter <coughs> and uh, we'll improve this area as well guys i hope you like the entire orientation today uh, please share your feedbacks in relation to the today's orientation session was it useful worth it informative and and the most important thing is was i six uh, was rizwan mania successful in showing you a simple fm in front of you please share your feedbacks okay thank you very much guys for your feedback i hope you like the orientation uh if you want to be part of the session this is the number enroll yourself if you haven't and then i'll catch you in the first live class very soon until then take care have a nice day have a nice weekend Rizwan Mania signing off from Wayfield